This is Memo Live. What's great about Memo Live is that you can record your news broadcast while adding layers simultaneously. Let's take a short tour of Memo Live. This is the sources section where you can add and take away a variety of sources, including cameras, backgrounds, images, and music. This is the layer stack where you can add and take away varying layers. If you hit the plus sign, you will see a large variety of layers to choose from. Layers include effects like lower thirds, picture-in-picture, picture, an interview screen, a clock, a calendar, a countdown, and many others. Any layer with a live button red will show up in the program output. In this section, customize each layer using the colors and other characteristics that you prefer. This box gives you a preview of the layer outlined in yellow. This box shows you what your program looks like live. Now let's learn how to put everything together to create a newscast. So here I am in the sources. Um, right now I have one main source and that's the one camera that I have hooked up to it. Under video device you can see there are two currently. There's a Logitech webcam which I have plugged into my computer and there's also the FaceTime HD camera. For my uses today we're going to use the Logitech webcam. The next part we're going to choose on this section is the audio device. This is very important because if you don't choose an audio device, it will automatically go to no audio device. So you need to choose Logitech webcam in this case because my webcam has a microphone built into it. If it doesn't, you're going to choose one of the other options. So in order to add a layer, you're going to hit the plus sign and you'll see the large variety of layers that come or in the program. I'm going to scroll down till I get to lower third. Lower third is the layer that allows me to put in a child's name, their job, and even our school logo and have that pop up as they're talking. In the layer stack you'll see the word live next to each layer. What that means is if the word live is in red is that is what your users will be seeing during the recording. Each layer is also fully customizable as far as color. I can add my images, I can change my text and font however I would like to make it look. So once I've made all of the specifications that I'd like in my lower third, I can hit live to see how it'll look once it pops up. When it's up, that's exactly how my audience will see it during the recording. Live is great because if you choose to, it has the green screen effects that you can add. In order to add those green screen effects, you're going to go back over to sources and you're going to choose the main camera there will be a, an FX next to it. Click on the FX and then choose Chroma Keying Pro. Once you turn on the Chroma Keying effect, it will automatically black out anything that's green. And as you can see in the program output box, it has blacked out the green color. Now it's not a fantastic blackout and we will fix those effects later, but you can see it has changed the program output. Once you have the Chroma King set up, you need to add a source that can be placed on top of the green screen. To do that, hit the plus sign under Sources. You can go under Sources. You're going to add another source to put on top of that green screen that you're blocking out. Um, these are some that my kids have chosen from the internet. So we're just going to add these sources. Um, and media sources underneath that source layer and you're going to drag that over into your layer stack. So now you have another layer. If you click live it will automatically put that in the program output on top of the green screen. Now you can see the effect on that green screen is not fantastic so it does need a little bit of adjustment. To adjust it come back over to main camera chroma keying pro and click on the gear and then there's some settings here there's four different things that you can choose from. Really, it's usually just very simple a dragging over of a marker um, to get that the way you need it to be. And that's the general idea behind Memo Live. 
let me show you an example of what it would look like during a newscast. So at this point, our newscast includes the pledge, the school mission statement, and somebody stating what we're having for lunch. This is our template for our morning newscast. You can see we have our sources already set up and all of the layers set up for each section of our recording. The main camera is black right now because I don't have it hooked up. What happens is we will hit live when, for example, when we have somebody saying the pledge, we will make the flag placer live. We will then make the lower third live of the child who has the name of the child. And then we will record, hit the record button and it will record that child as they're speaking. When we switch people, we continue recording, simply change what's live. So we'll change the background and change the lower third, put somebody new in front of the camera, record that, have them go away. While we continue recording, simply hit live the last placer and the last lower third. And so when we're done, we have a newscast with everything in one section and one clip that can then be edited quickly and simply. When we have everything recorded, we hit the stop recording button. And once we hit stop record, it will prompt us to save the recording. It's always the very top one that pops up. So we'll double click that recording and we will save it as whatever day of the week that we're recording. And I usually save it to the desktop just so the kids can find it easily. Then we can import that recording into any video editing software and edit it from there.